Hi, Adam Sweet here. Today I want to show you how to get maximum sustain out of your modern mandolin. So this is a typical modern flat back uh, mandolin. Uh, this one was made in China and is uh, was imported by a company called Mando Mo in Holyoke, Massachusetts. It is a typical carved Chinese made mandolin, not very expensive, under $1,000, uh, made with solid wood. So when you make your selection, make sure you get something with solid wood and not plywood. Uh, it's very difficult to get sustain out of plywood. Okay, so let's just start with something very simple, like uh, a single note. The theory here is that you're going to uh, put your finger down between the two frets. Now most mandolin teachers uh, teach that you should put your finger right up against the fret, but I always teach my students to put their fingers in the middle, between, somewhere between the two frets. Now every mandolin is a little different, so you have to play around, you have to slide your finger around to get the sweet spot, um, but put it in the middle and don't let it touch either fret. So in this example, I'm putting my first finger on the second fret e, uh, D string. That's quite a bit of sustain for an instrument that is not played with a bow. Let me do that again. It's about four seconds of sustain. So, uh, all you have to do is practice putting your fingers down between the frets on each string in all four positions. And the best way to do that, of course, is with your scales. Now, I've gone over extensively how to play scales how to shift into third and fourth position. So I'm not going to do that again now. Um, just when you practice your scales, um, practice very slowly. Uh, hold the note for at least three seconds so you can get used to the idea of holding your fingers down for maximum sustain. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you online and uh, don't hesitate to ask questions.